Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to do a car crash in 3ds Max. Um, we're going to simply be using Mass Effects for to quickly create the animation of the car hitting into the cylinder in this tutorial, and then we're going to use the Morpher modifier to crumple the car. Okay, right. So first of all, to prepare the car for the simulation, um, my car, in, for example, is the Audi. A5 and it was a model from Turbo Squid and it's all in separate pieces so that's going to be a nightmare to deform for the crash. So a simple way to do this is just to uh, um, attach all of the metal pieces together. So if I just bring up the materials modifier, um, material editor by clicking M on the keyboard or you can go up here and if it's this, if it's different it might be the slate, um, slate material editor you just hold down on this and you can just change it the simple one here. Um, so basically I'm just going to assign the whole car the grey default material. In the second slot though I'm going to create um, uh, what colour? Just a, uh, just a, any colour you want, just a red one, it's just anything that you would better pick out. So I'm just going to apply that to this part of the car. So basically the reason I want to apply this material to this part of the car is so I can easily define what bits I've already attached to it. So if I go to convert to editable poly, and that will allow me to click attach, and I'll be able to start attaching different parts. If you get attach options, just do not modify map IDs or material. So just click that, and that will assign the materials to the new to the set yeah, to the newly set of pieces. So I'm just going to go around selecting all the pieces of the car that I want to be together. So this part and this part. So now, as you can see, if we unclick this, you can see that all the metal parts are together and together in this part. Um, another thing that I want to uh, attach all the parts together is this front bit. You've got the, the Audi logo and the border bit here. So I'm just going to simply just leave it as editable mesh and just click on those pieces. And that connects them. Okay. So now we've got this part and then obviously you've got um, the lights and everything, but they can all smash up in the simulation. So anyway, so I'm just going to select all by click it, clicking Control A, or you can just drag um, with the selection uh, uh, selection region on, and I'm just going to rename the selection car. So now, if when we want to select the car, we can just simply just go down to here and click car. I've got car selected. So the way I'm going to create this, the animation for this, I'm going to be using Mass Effects. I'm going to close that now. We don't need it. I'm going to close the, the graphite modeling tools. Anyway, so so I'm going to be using this, and the toolbar is up in one of these views. Goodness me, where is it? Green. No, no, no. Sorry. Oh, I'm so, sorry, I've totally forgotten. If you just um, do a quick Google, you'll be able to find out where it is up in them. And then you just get the toolbar and you just move it over. It'll come out like this. And you just like simply just move it over to into there, which it doesn't want to do. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, okay, back to normal. Um, right, so back to the tutorial. We can just start off by creating a box. I don't want the box to go right up to the end because the box is going to be what we're going to be colliding with the cylinder so if it goes right up to the end none of the car will actually go into the cylinder so I'll show you how we do that so we're just going to drag out roughly to where the the wheel arc is and just bring that straight up so as you can see that that part of the car is exposed and that means it will be going into the cylinder however the rest of the car won't be so um, uh, quickly, if you just select car, because we're going to use the box to uh, to animate uh, the car, we're just going to link everything to the box. So now if you see, if we click the box and start to move it, the car is linked. But anyway, for now, we can just select the car, and we can just hide selection, so that's gone. So now technically, we are just working with the box. So if we just pull that back, and so the box is now our car. Quick, quick save. So if we go to top view, I'm just going to put the cylinder out in front of the car. About here. Doesn't matter how big. And just drag up a bit. And if you look over here, yeah, so we've got the cylinder and the car. So now, 
we're going to be using the kin kinematic um, object to which will allow us to animate the car going forwards and then it will be able to we'll be able to turn it off and then it will start to, to add it into the dynamic simulation so if we just turn on auto key for now and we go forwards let's say 15 frames like here and we're just going to move the car there we go past the pot so now if you watch uh, here you see that the car goes through the pole, which is obviously isn't what we want, but it is what we want because once we've added, given it the kin kinematic rigid body, and also if we give this uh, static object, sorry, the menu's off the screen, I'm sorry about that, but they are there, it's just like a drop down menu if you hold um, down your mouse on that. So technically now we've got um, static things, so this, so the cylinder won't move, but the car also won't do anything either at the moment, so unless we check the checkbox until frame and we go to the frame before it collides with the cylinder which seems to be frame 12 so we type in frame 12 and then if we come over so now after frame 12 it's gonna get rid of the animation but it is gonna start making it collide so here we go so we hit play you'll see that we get the car crashing and it's kind of really bouncy so um just press back um Right, so I'm just going to turn up the density tons to like 35. And then I'm going to turn off the bounce and dynamic friction and static friction up to full. So hopefully this like minimize the uh, the throwback of the car. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, removed a lot of it. Anyway, you can you can go into a lot more detail on how, tweaking the car and everything and making the animation a lot, a lot how you want it. But anyway, if you bring up this, which is like the menu for Mass Effects tools, um, and you go into this little simulation tools here and because this is really simple I'm just going to hit bake now and simply now we have our car animation check that our car crash 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 um, yeah so now if we go unhide all so now we got our car and now we can just hide the box so just hide selection and now we can see that actually the car now has the animation and the reason we didn't oops <laughs> Where did I? Where have we gone? There we are. Oopsie daisy. Let's get back in on this. Um, and the reason it might be a bit easier to find out now. The reason why we didn't do the box hold up for the car is now you can see that the car actually does go into the cylinder because the box is actually here, so it actually gives the chance for the car to actually bash into it. Right. So now we've got this. I'm also going to run another simulation before we start going into the crumpling, just for parts of the car like this, 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 and this. So, yeah, in fact, I'm going to do the tyre for fun as well. So, we've got these parts selected. I'm also just going to do kinematic. This is not going to be any animation. This is just so we can trigger when it goes off. So, we're going to go into frame... Uh, frame 11. We're going to have to do... So, if we go into here... Uh, until frame... 11 and then if we hit play see the car crashes and then all the bits fly off yeah okay right so maybe frame 12 um, so it's less impact okay right so that sticks bit better so and then again if we just hit bake again so that's just going to bake those animations just add a bit more detail into that. So great. We've got the car flying off. Bang. Right, so now comes um in the second part I'm gonna be going through how we actually make the car crumple. This is a, a really simple way of doing this car crash. Um we're not using the cloth modifier, but it's also a really effective way of getting the job done pretty quickly and simply. So second part we're gonna go through how we crumple the metal and also if there's a third part I'm going to be going through how to shatter the glass using P-Flow so I'll see you then bye for now